Hey guys and welcome back to my channel again. My name is Adenike and I'm so glad that you're here at this moment watching this video. So today I'll be talking to you about a brand new Nollywood Nigerian movie titled Oge Sister. But before I get to that, I want to wish you guys a very very Merry Christmas. I know it's past Christmas already but hey, we're still celebrating. So a very very Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope you had a fantastic time with your family and a Happy New Year in advance. It's going to be an amazing time. 2015 for us in Jesus name. Amen. So back to today. Okay sister produced by Uche Jumbo and directed by Lancelot Imatsu and that's the movie I'm talking to you to about today and I hope you sit back relax and enjoy the episode. I'll be right back. Fathering somebody else's child. Which child are you talking about? <laughs> Welcome back. So, Oge okay, Sister, produced by Uche Jumbo, directed by Lancelot Imasuen. The movie features Uche Jumbo, Yvonne Jagede, and Shion Akindele. The movie was about two sisters who grew up uh, back in the day. You know, they had issues, they had challenges, financial problems here and there. So, the other one, the older one, Okay, was always taking care of her younger sister, trying to provide for her and all of that. And she, if you along the way, she had to do a few things, right? They lost their mom, so they pretty much grew up together. That's pretty much what the story is. But then there's more to it because the movie was structured in such a way that we had to watch the end from the beginning. So we would start out in the present and then go back into the past and then we'll come back into the present. That was how the movie was structured. So in order for us to understand why the situation is the way it is right now, we had to go back into the past and then back into the present. That was one of the things um, I loved about this movie and that leads me to telling you guys that I'm rating this movie a 7 over 10. Okay. It's not fantastic, you know, it's not groundbreaking uh, blockbuster, but at the same time, it wasn't a terrible movie. It was, uh, I'll just describe it as an everyday home video, Nollywood home video. I think the major thing I loved about this movie was the casting, you know, Shion Akindele, and surprisingly, even Jekyll did a very good job. I don't remember her, she used to be in old Nollywood, so I don't remember her that well, but you know, she did very well in bringing the character to life because otherwise without even Jagadeth's character this movie would have been dead boring i promise you guys you know because for because we're just following a particular storyline and the fact that it was flashback you know make made it one directional you know so we are just in order for us to understand right now we have to go back into the past so it was just really one directional but the person that really brought it to life was even jagada you know she did a really good job embodying a character and you know and uh, displaying and making it a lot more fun and lively you know and then as well she Kindele is a fantastic actor and it did really well also with Uchi Jumbo. So that was good. The production quality was good. The sound was not too good. I mean, I mean, at, at a point, at a point, I actually thought, <laughs> actually thought it was, it was deliberate, you know, because at a point they were subtitled, right? They were subtitled the audio because it was so bad that you couldn't hear what they were saying. So they had to subtitle. So I think I'm trying, I'm not sure, maybe if I get to talk to Uchi Jumbo one day about this movie, she'll clarify if that was a strategy or not, or if it was just a mistake they had to compensate for. But either way, there were some points in the movie when the audio was so low, they had to subtitle in English what they were saying, even though the movie was already in English, you know. So the audio quality and sound quality wasn't too good. Um, I didn't like that. I didn't like that the movie was one directional you know i know i already mentioned that but i just i like i would have liked if there, there were um there was another storyline you know it was just like one family one storyline one outcome and also i didn't particularly like the ending of the movie because it didn't seem realistic you know someone for some people just don't change like that they just don't change at the snap of a finger you know especially for someone that's been consistently wicked even in faces of situations that would have made her you know rethink her life she didn't you know so for us just all of a sudden voila she's a new person i didn't believe that and then i think they had issue with continuity continuity issues in trying to um make the past and the present flow smoothly but overall i think it was enjoyable a regular 
Nollywood on video wasn't groundbreaking, the story wasn't, you know, genuine or anything, but it was fresh, it was uh, easy to watch. The, I like that Uche Jumbo did not overcomplicate things. We know it's a regular story, let's just watch it and enjoy it. And that was it, okay? So, once again, I'm giving this movie a 7 over 10. Definitely check it out. I saw it on Iroko TV. Alright guys, okay, so this is not my last video for this year. I'm still going to come back to you with one more video, which is going to be my last video for 2014. And that's going to be my list for the best African movies of 2014, as far as I know. Okay? As far as I know. Hey, before people will not come and now come and start saying whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to come back to you with that video before the year runs out. And then that will be the end for this year. And then I'll see you in 2015. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the rest of this year. And have an amazing rest of the week. Okay? God bless you. Bye-bye.